you wouldn't get killed. It's okay. I still have a lot of patients that need my help. I won't let them kill me that easily. Plus, I have Mr. Vampire to protect me. You don't need to worry so much. Isn't that right, Mr. Vampire? Uh, fool! How many times do I need to tell you? I'm just making sure you don't die too soon. Oh, yes, of course. Well, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Would you like to come with me, Mr. Vampire? Cleaned up? You're going to bathe? Of course I'll come. That's when you're at your most vulnerable. I can't be too careful. I'm glad you're so dedicated, but please don't look, okay? What? But if I don't look, then I can't keep an eye on you. That's true, but... Hmm. How can I explain this? <sighs> what is it, Nags? You don't look so good. The two of them are really getting along. Well, they're destined to be together. To Desco, they're just warming up. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of jealous. What's wrong with Miss Nax? I don't know. I have no idea what geniuses think about. Uh, everyone hurry! Rekadona and Gustav's monsters are going at it! Nagi, I thought the battlefield was further west. Hold it together, Nax. You're the only one of us who knows the area. Are you getting confused by everything that's going on? Take deep breaths with Desco. Without. We need to go over here first. It's just a small town. I don't want innocent people to get caught in the middle of this. Wow, there are monsters here, too? How many do they summon? Wake up, you fools! Don't let the humans control you! Do you have any pride as demons? Ugh. <sighs> Mr. Vampire? Hmm. I couldn't even dodge that attack. I need to focus. Very well. If you won't listen to me, then I'll have to beat my inspiration into you. I shall remind you what being a proud and noble demon is all about. Ready for me? Do my best. Yeah. 
Now for the main dish. Ready for me? Ready for me? Soldiers are gone. Dasko must have scared them off. I hope so. I'm just glad the town didn't become the latest battlefield. Oh. Let me see your wound. I'm not wounded. I can tell you're hurt. Do you have any idea how many injured people I've seen over the years? You haven't feasted in a long time. If you lose any more blood, you could die. Am I mistaken? <sighs> Fine. Do as you please. Good. Because I was going to do exactly that. I don't understand you. I've never met a human like you before. I will suck all the blood out of you. Have you forgotten? Of course not. But you should really hurry up with that, you know. Apparently I'm going to be killed by Goostark soldiers soon. That will never happen. Your blood is mine. You will not die until then. Thank you, Mr. Vampire. Don't thank me. Just keep that skinny neck of yours clean. Okay, I'll remember to do that. Oh. oh, just look at those two. They were meant for each other. It was only a matter of time before they really started to get friendly with each other. Let's go.
Hey, Fauzi, as long as it's not mine, feel free to suck blood from someone. You're getting weaker as we speak. Pixis is right. It'll be easier to win our battles if you're at full strength. I refuse. A promise is absolute. I will do whatever it takes to keep it. You almost got beat the other day. Are you sure you can still protect Artina? That will not be a problem. I will not allow her to die. Then you should at least eat some sardines. Then we wouldn't worry so much. Here, have a sardine before it goes bad. Ugh, this stench is terrible! Get it away from me! Why do you keep helping the soldiers? They think you're a spy! You might help a soldier only to get killed by him later! Nagi, I know what you're trying to say, but... But even then, I can't just let an injured person suffer. That's just not who I am. You can be a real pain. Can I ask you a question, too? Why are you trying to stop the war? <sighs> if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. I'm sorry for asking. No, I want you to know. Okay. It's been about three years now, I think. I actually used to live on the western border. I lived there with my family. My parents loved each other like newlyweds, and my sister and I used to always fight. The summoning spell I used was developed by my father. We were all so happy. I didn't think so at the time, but I was definitely living a good life. But as soon as the war started, the border became an instant battlefield, and soldiers came into our house. I honestly don't remember if they were from Rakadona or Gustark. I wanted to fight to protect my family, but my parents were against me getting involved. My sister told me to run and that they would catch up with me later. I cried and begged them to run away with me, but they wouldn't listen. After everything was said and done, I was the only one who made it. They burned my house down with my family inside. The war took everything from me. I was so lonely. Which is why I want to stop the war. I'll do whatever it takes and even use force. Otherwise, I'm gonna go crazy or something. If it wasn't for... If it wasn't for the war... I'm so lonely. I don't want to be lonely anymore. I'm sorry for making you talk about it. Thank you for opening up to me. There are no words to lessen the loss of your family. But I want you to remember one thing. You aren't alone anymore, Nagi. Huh? I don't know for sure, but those two loud lasses, aren't they your friends? Next, I'll give you some sardines, so just hold it together. Being sad won't put an end to the war. We're here for you! You guys... Like Mr. Vampire said, you have friends right in front of you. I'm... not alone? <laughs> Stark soldiers here. Why do they have so many monsters with them? Maybe they found out this is where we're hiding. This is bad. Nags! Calm yourselves! I shall drive them back! Duska would like you to do that, but you don't look very convincing. Not to mention you won't eat sardines. Wait, no! The soldiers are heading toward... The clinic! Are we close to the clinic? Yes. Follow this road north and you can't miss it. Hey, Nags. Why are Goose Dark soldiers going to the clinic? If they are going to fight, shouldn't they be going towards Rekadona? I think they're looking for Rekadona soldiers at the clinic to execute. 
That's terrible. I haven't even fully recovered yet. It's not like they can't move, but they certainly can't run away. Attacking injured humans with monsters? That's terrible. Even Desko, a final boss, wouldn't come up with something that evil. Yeah, but something's wrong. Why would they need monsters for that? Don't let your guards down. There they are. Oh, wow. Look at that one. He looks super crazy. They look like Margin class demons. It makes me so sad to see demons of that level being controlled by humans. And angry. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd show up here, spy. Oh! And the vampire is with you, too? I don't know what the two of you have going on, but it's a good thing we brought these monsters. What? You came to this clinic to lure her into coming out? What are we gonna do, big sis? Mr. Fauzi is kind of useless right now, and we shouldn't try to fight Majin class demons. We need to run. Fauzi, grab our Tina and let's get out of here. Absolutely not. A proud and noble demon would never flee. Now's not the time to show off. Aren't you worried about Miss Artina? Fear not. I shall fight through this no matter what it takes. Mr. Vampire. Hmm. Unless I drive off these fools first, I'll never get a moment's rest to think of a way to scare this lass. Well, I guess we have no choice but to fight. <sighs> Fine. All right, Desko, let's go crazy. You got it, big sis. Desko will show them that a final boss is more powerful than any monster. I won't let you touch her. I'm... No, we are going to protect her no matter what. Ready for me? Take that! Ready for me? Test sample. Ready for me? Bye! Ready for me?
Please! Why are there so many? Can you still fight, Mr. Balsy? Huh, what a foolish question. Who do you think I am? All right, here comes another round of this.